the dark ages of the universe is getting bombarded with light, or so several data tell us. During this time, stars were yet to be born, let alone galaxies. However, that picture is drastically changing. The universe that originated from the Big Bang, according to the cosmic inflation theory, is behaving more mysterious than ever before. We now have identified galaxies in the early universe that is leaving scientists dumbfounded. And that is all thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, which with its infrared detecting prowess, is changing the game. Here is one of the top theoretical physicists explaining the conundrum that we found ourselves in at the moment. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. And not just Mr. Kaku, even the famous astrophysicist and science communicator, Neil deGrasse Tyson, is stunned. All right, so now let's tune the telescope in to galaxies being born. And oh my gosh, who ordered this? We're finding galaxies in the Dark Ages. Now, Webb, with its unprecedented ability, has spotted a galaxy merger right at the edge of the Big Bang. What does this mean? Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. In the vast expanse of the universe, the biggest and most awe-inspiring galaxies, like our very own Milky Way, are believed to have formed from the cosmic encounters of the first galaxies. These primordial formations were mere specks, minuscule clumps of stars, drifting through the darkness of space. Yet, thanks to the extraordinary power of the James Webb Space Telescope, we have been given a glimpse of two of the universe's earliest galaxies, each just a few hundred light years across and existing a mere for 30 million years after the Big Bang. These infant galaxies have been caught in an interstellar dance, possibly on the brink of merging into a new, bigger galaxy. This discovery holds the potential to unlock the secrets of galaxy growth during the universe's early history, revealing the wonders and mysteries of our cosmic origins. However, there is a twist. Max 0647 JD, or Max JD, is an extremely distant object first observed about 10 years ago. At the time, it was considered to be the most distant galaxy ever observed, and it is still one of the earliest things we can study in detail with JWST. Generally speaking, galaxies from the dawn of time are too faint and too far away to see. The reason we can see Max JD is because its light has been triply lensed, magnified and distorted by a massive galaxy cluster lying in front of it from our point of view. The cluster warps spacetime, splitting the light into three images of the same system. The images are magnified by factors of 8, 5 and 2, so they appear brighter than other galaxies at similar distances. The surprising twist here is that what was once seen as a single object now appears to be two baby galaxies, labeled A and B. A is brighter and larger with very recent star formation and no dust, while B looks older and has a little bit of dust. Their differing star formation histories suggest they formed farther apart, only coming together recently. Other scientists, though, are not too thrilled with the idea. They suggest that while a merger is a possibility, it's also possible that one of the galaxies is a satellite of the other. Alternatively, the two components might be part of the same galaxy. More details are awaited at the moment. And while we are at it, 
let us also look at what the web telescope is capturing that is unfolding the universe like never before. It has discovered six galaxies that existed only 500 million years after the Big Bang. Not just that, these galaxies are well formed and contains more stars than today's galaxies like our Milky Way. These galaxies should not exist as it toys with our model of cosmology. To make matters more uncomfortable for scientists, researchers from the University of Minnesota have discovered that one of these galaxies is so bizarre that we might have to go back to the drawing board. According to the theory of cosmic inflation, the universe was born with the Big Bang as an unimaginably hot, dense point. When the universe was just a hundredth of a billionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second in age, it experienced an incredible burst of expansion known as inflation, in which space itself expanded faster than the speed of light. During this period, the universe doubled in size at least 90 times, going from subatomic sized to golf ball sized almost instantaneously. After that, the growth of the universe continued, but at a slow rate. As space expanded, the universe cooled and matter formed. Only one second after the Big Bang, the universe was filled with neutrons, protons, electrons, anti-electrons, photons and neutrinos. During the first three minutes of the universe, the light elements were born during a process known as Big Bang nuclear synthesis. But for the first 380,000 years or so, the universe was essentially too hot for light to shine. The heat of creation smashed atoms together with enough force to break them up into a dense plasma, an opaque soup of protons, neutrons and electrons that scattered light, like fog. 380,000 years after, however, matter began cool, and it cooled enough for atoms to form. However, after this point, the universe was plunged into darkness, since no stars or any other bright objects had formed yet. First forward to 400 million years after the Big Bang, and we can see the universe began to come out of its dark ages. This period in the universe's evolution is called the Age of Reionization. During this phase, which lasted for more than 500 million years, the first stars started to appear. So galaxies, scientists thought, began building up in the first billion years after the Big Bang and sort of reached adolescence at one to two billion years. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has found not one, but six galaxies that were fully formed only 500 million years after the Big Bang. And that is a problem. Using first of the akin observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, the University of Minnesota Twin Cities or team looked more than 13 billion years into the past to discover a unique, minuscule galaxy that generated new stars at an extremely high rate for its size. The galaxy is one of the smallest ever discovered at this distance and could help astronomers learn more about galaxies that were present shortly after the universe came into existence. The galaxy's volume is roughly a millionth of the Milky Way's, but we can see that it's still forming the same numbers of stars each year. The galaxies that existed when the universe was in its infancy are very different from what we see in the nearby universe now, explained scientists. Studying these galaxies could help us figure out how and when these first stars and galaxies emerged from within the universe's dark ages. Until then, it remains a mystery still as to how the universe came into being. As days pass, more results of observations from JWST is revealing that the universe, especially at its early stage, was stranger than we imagine. What do you guys think? Are we looking at a major revision? Or is the Big Bang safe? Let us know by dropping in your comments and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360 because together we will explore.